okay, can we be honest with ourselves here for a moment? In the YouTube world, if you use the words Harbor Freight in the title, it's essentially clickbait. Why? Because there's so many of you cheapskates out there that are trying to rationalize your purchases for these crappy and expensive tools. I do not, repeat, I do not endorse the steaming pile of tools that is Harbor Freight, but the blue clamps are a winner. I mean, the blue handled clamps, these things are great. I have lots of them. I have them everywhere. There are piles of them in every corner of my workshop. I also strongly recommend these lashing straps. Get them quickly because they changed the model, so they're going to be lesser quality. Run out, get your coupon and run out and grab some. Quick story, I grabbed some coupons from the pile of spam mail that was sitting on the steps. Uh, I, you know, pile it up and then go through it looking for these, but I couldn't find a valid one. I went in with uh, three coupons and this condescending little butterball that's working the countertop said, Oh, I'm sorry, sir. This coupon's expired. And it's like, come on, you send them to me every day. Like, cut me a break because I needed to get a gear puller, but you can't buy a gear puller there, you have to buy a three pack. So now I have two gear pullers that I don't actually need. So I told the kid, slightly in a slightly respectful but stern tone, that they should just reduce the prices and stop with the silly coupon game because it's a waste of everybody's time. He was like, of the opinion that, yeah, I really don't care about your problems, I'm here all day. Anyhow, these are a great product, those are a great product, and if you're going to buy these, let me show you what you need to do with them to get them ready for use. I made another video about this, I recommended item number 10, you can go watch the video if you want. So this video should probably attract more viewers than I normally get on second channel content, and why is that? Because I use the term Harbor Freight in the title, and I'm sure a lot of you won't like my personality and you'll think that I'm too whatever, and you're free to leave. But anyways, step one, safety first. You gotta get this edge off. You clamp your work table and this part sticks down and you bump it with your leg or your back and it's just awful. I have a scar on my back from one of these, so I um, file them now. That's very important. Important. Harbor Freight file. Look at that. Sweet idea, right? Try it out. How to file correctly? Just go back and forth real fast like this. <laughs> Just kidding, tool fetishists. Here, I'll make it up to you by giving you some file porn. One Direction. And that doesn't wear out your file. Oh yeah, long strokes. When you're picking these out, you want to make sure that their lateral side-to-side -side play isn't too bad, or at least that it's balanced. See how it moves in each direction about the same amount? If they're too cocked to one side, then when you apply a uh, clamp force, you'll notice that the clamp twists and that applies an uneven clamping pressure. Another thing about these, the more you use them, the better, because as the teeth start to, re to round in, to wear in, it makes them easier to move. And I've used some I've used them a lot and I haven't had them start to slip yet. I mean, it's a great product for the money. Uh, my old favorite clamp was the Jorgensen, which is superior in, in, it's superior in nearly every aspect, but it's too heavy and I've grown to love the lightweight uh, feature of the Harbor Freight clamp. So this is my new go-to F clamp. Uh, next step, we got to get these rubber pads from falling off. Actually, that one, was, that one was pretty tight. But trust me when I say that they're normally not so tight 
and when they like this one and when they pop off in use it can be frustrating to say the least okay I'm going to use an old hot glue stick now just like any soldering function you want to heat the metal and then smear the adhesive on because if the metal's warm then it'll spread better and stick better that's all just a drop keep it moving It's not rocket surgery, but you can use a hot glue gun if you want. I don't want to wait. Apply a little bit of pressure, keep it centered, and give it a couple minutes. If you're using your clamps for woodworking, then glue is a common problem. Get the glue off of your clamps immediately during a glue up because it just turns to rust and other problems. The last step in the process, and then we're ready to add these to our collection, a drop of mineral oil. Apply some on the threads because the, the thread cutting process that they use is not the cleanest, so give it a little bit of oil at first and help finish cutting the threads this way. Also, we want some bar oil. Again, this is mineral oil. I'm paying special care to get it on the teeth. And it'll have a short break in process. I'll wipe this off and it'll be good to go. This, please don't complain about the dust. It, sawdust will mix with mineral oil and it'll just fall away. It's not a big deal. It's more important that they break in properly than you keep them perfectly clean. As you probably have figured out, I have no love for tool fetishes. Tools are a means to an end. Wait, there's more. Two more things. I should mention that if this button here, it's often, it's often sharp. So you can cut this down with a file a little bit too so it's not so harsh on your thumb. You might think this that I'm being petty, but... Uh, day in and day out when repeated use of these sorts of things you want you want the experience to be pleasant oh last thing storage when you put this away make sure that the threads are halfway halfway in halfway out that way the clamp doesn't get locked tight in one way or stuck this is the proper way to put it away then it's ready to go for next time. Okay, see ya. Oh, and by the way, when I got home, there was a valid coupon in the mail. <laughs> Gotta love it.